Hey guys, since the last update, we had a couple of really big things happen in the sport of baseball again. I figured I'll keep my focus there again. Um, the first and by far the biggest thing that we had is Luis Severino, the Yankees, second best pitcher, but he is an ace type quality, ace talent. He's out for the year. He got. He's gonna get Tommy John surgery. He has uh, something wrong in his forearm and his elbow. He's gonna get reconstructed UCL surgery. That is huge news for any baseball fans, Yankee fans, fantasy baseball players. A fourth round value type of player is going is out is out for the year. And a number two starter, one that could really be technically the number one starter in the playoffs or anything like that. If and the Yankees lose a lot of depth, they got lucky that they kept J Happ because J Happ's not good. But at least they they had back-end pitchers like they can step up you can't fill a Severino type role but their team is still good enough and still deep enough that they are very much so championship contenders another news we have the Astros they keep getting hit by pitches and honestly I can't tell if it's on purpose can't tell if it's not because like no one's gonna hurt people on purpose in spring training I feel like that's just stupid but you do have to say it they are get they have been hit by the most pitches so far i think they were hit by seven pitches in five games something like that which is most in the league kind of cool you don't know maybe it is maybe it's not on purpose i don't know it's a little intriguing bring something to this sport of baseball it doesn't usually have like media and storyline that's more basketball's thing but brings a little nice aspect of that to baseball and the last thing i wanted to talk about were a couple like notable plays that i saw juan soto of course uh, picking up where he left off in his amazing year last year, World Series champion, turned 21, uh, lost World Series MVP, but who cares? It was Strasburg. Um, he's so good, he had an opposite field homer, and literally the, the bats, the, the sound of the ball coming off the bat was ridiculous. It just sounded like a cannon, just firing, and just like, this, this was beautiful, honestly. And we also had Tim Tebow hitting a homer, which is kind of cool. But at the same time, we also had Tim Tebow falling in the outfield over his shoelace, which was pretty funny, so. You know, there's pros and cons, it's Tebow time, and wherever he goes, his story goes, so that's kind of cool to see. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for listening again.